all right so we're going to start off with the chapter reaction kinetics okay so to start off with i need you guys to know of some basic ideas okay we you, you could call them some rules or conventions so conventions rules okay uh some basic ideas for the chapter this is maybe derived from o levels or from general knowledge of rea rates but it's something that we need to know before we continue and that is the basic ideas of some of these things that we're going to talk about today one of them is the name acha ye naam kya hai is chapter ka it's called reaction kinetics so what is kinetics kinetics is the study of the rates of reactions okay so next is three, this is one now what do you mean by mean by rate okay so what is rate rate basically is what how do i measure rate of a reaction so the rate of a reaction is measured by how fast by how fast a product is being made or a reactant is being used up of how fast a product is being made so how far a product is being made mm now just give some space let's do that so either i can measure how fast a product is being made or how fast a reactant is being used up reactant is being used up one of the two okay and that's important to know that it can be one of the two all right now <coughs> basically and how do i and how do i measure that even how fast how do i measure that even i measure it by how fast i'm changing concentration so how fast is the concentration changing concentration kis ki reactant ki ya product ki that's what i'm going to be concerned with all right so basically by technical definition then rate of a reaction becomes what so the rate of a reaction therefore is technically speaking so the rate is the rate of change of concentration rate of change of concentration now kis ki concentration either reactant ki ya product ki so either the change of concentration of product or reactant we technically want it for product but it's easier to measure in the real world for reactant and the unit for the rate of change is because it's the change of concentration so it's the concentration ki change ka rate the rate is measured per second so the rate of any reaction is is measured in the change in concentration of product or reactant and its unit is moles per dm cube per second that's something that you have to remember so these are some of the things that we have to keep in mind when you're doing this chapter so rate is change of concentration for those of you who take a level maths or done o level maths this is basically differentiation it's like d d concentrate the rate of change of concentration or instantaneous change of concentration or d concentration over dt basically but again for those who don't take a level math or haven't done one level add math it's simply it's the rate of change of concentration measured in moles per dm cube per second it's the quantity so that's why it doesn't matter because product badhega aur reactant kam hoga so the change in concentration of product is a positive value and the change in concentration of reactant is a negative value but we are only talking about magnitude hence the magnitude will be the same either or that i measure ठीक है देन वन मोर थिंग दैट यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इज द अनदर सिंबल दैट वी कम अक्रॉस एंड यू विल कम अक्रॉस दिस लॉट बेसिकली इट्स कॉल्ड दी स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स ओके एंड दी स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स रिप्रेजेंट स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स रिप्रेजेंट व्हाट यू कॉल इट कंसंट्रेशन रिप्रेजेंट कंसंट्रेशन मीनिंग that when i'm looking at things like uh uh i write let's say concentration of hcl this is me saying i'm talking about the concentration of hcl 
when I say this I mean I'm talking about the concentration of H plus ions so that's what square brackets mean all right at this time you should also know the definition of what what uh, how is what does rate depend on how does it what changes rate of a reaction and this is stuff that you've done in O levels right and the idea is that the rate of a reaction the rate of reaction is dependent on the frequency of collisions so it's dependent on the frequency of collisions of the particles of reactant frequency of collisions and that's collision theory we've done that in O levels so that if you increase collisions the reaction will speed up then we also at this stage have done this that even catalyst speed up a reaction now obviously this in A2's we are going to be focusing on the relationship between rate and concentration of reactants now reactants and if they can increase the collision frequency then increase rate but also catalysts are important to discuss because even they will speed up a reaction speed up the rate they take part in the rate most most people don't think that they take part in the reaction catalysts take part in the reaction they do they otherwise they be, it'll be like magic hey the catalyst didn't do anything but they increased rate no they took part in the reaction what they don't do is they don't get used up so they take part in the reaction without getting used up okay that's what catalysts do and okay so that's another term so i'm just giving you terms that you need to know before we continue with the relationship between rate and concentration of reactants that's the a2 stuff all right so now that's that done we also have to learn a couple of new things okay you'll come across this idea and i'm going to say this before because it'll be coming up later and the idea is of initial rate now you the reason why we say initial rate is because you might remember from o levels that when you had ATP may they had asked you to sketch graphs and I will do that in my beautiful handwriting right now of uh, reactant versus time so let's say I had a reactant and I'm following its concentration with respect to time I know that the decrease is not a constant most cases may it, the concentration of the reactant decreases like this like it's a as in total increases decrease of sorts like can make the graph properly like that I don't know yes I could take it's a curve going down if you had to study the concentration of products with time that's something that definitely you do in ATP this guy's not graph you know the product bunriya 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 or and made becomes constant and this was product key concentration with time the point of sketching these two graphs was two reasons one to show you that the decrease of the reactant and the increase of product are not constant okay obviously this graph looks a little better than this graph but they think of them as both the same kind of graph but one is going up one is coming down and the point is that the that the rate isn't constant everywhere and how can i look at the graph and talk about rate that's the first thing we'll talk about before we even mention initial rate the reason why is because the gradient in this graph in both the graphs the magnitude of the gradient is the rate so the gradient here is rate and q because what is rate defined as the change in concentration with respect to time change in concentration with respect to time so basically change of y over x change of y over x and change of y over x is called gradient hence the gradient here is your rate first of all which means that if i were to follow this rate you see rate here would be different because the gradient here is different than the gradient there which is different than the gradient there the point and I'm going to make it in yeah so the gradient here versus there versus there the gradient is different the gradient here is also different with time so when I say initial rate I am talking about 
the initial gradients meaning gradients at time equals to zero so I'm looking at at this point time is zero so this gradient is initial rate see that gradient here so gradient of what the tangent so you make a tangent and this tangent ka jo hai na gradient initial rate hai. because that will be the maximum it is a maximum so initial rate is the what is it it is the rate of reaction at time equals to zero okay what I mean that it's not exactly zero means some, some might say well the reaction didn't start no this is just as reaction starts okay just as it starts what that means is that is going to be the maximum rate it's a come it says other can you also because at that initial time is where your concentration of reactants is the maximum so it can only decrease with time and how do I find the initial rate I find the initial made by making a gradient the gradient of the tangent at so the gradient of tangent at time equals to zero so that's how I get the gradient so I make a tangent now obviously these tangents may be downward or upward so you're negative or positive or but the magnitude of the this tangent is the same for any reaction the initial rate of the reactant or the product are going to have the same magnitude but either you measure the reactants decrease with time or the products increase with time it is the same rate all right okay so now what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the relationship now we're studying the a2 stuff the relationship between this is the first thing we'll do we are looking at the relationship between what the concentrations of reactants and how they affect rate okay now obviously concentration of reactants can be written as this square brackets mean concentration so now whenever I say square brackets I am saying concentration square brackets concentration okay so in O levels you definitely do this you do this that rate is proportional to concentration but we know that is not really true because technically speaking rate is dependent on the concentration of reactants we know this and we've all taught this that as rate as re concentration of reactants increases rate increases now in O levels you definitely have been told that rate is proportional to the concentration of a reactant okay now that is true to some extent okay now what is that true to now at this point I'd like to highlight that if you had remember how many of organic chemistry key thi, so we have seen that in organic chemistry mein reactions in multiple steps mein hote. you know uh, electrophilic addition was two step nucleophilic substitution one SN1 was two step and that nucleophilic addition was also two step okay now O levels may job ko bataya jata hai ke rate is proportional to concentration it is for each individual step but when we are in the real world dealing with rate we want to talk about the overall reaction because the steps May, it's not like this individual steps ka rate hume fayda dega hume pura ka pura reaction dekhna padta meaning that if I have reactions of multi-step reactions so if I look at multi-step reactions what I'm saying is that that they have uh, step 1 and step 2 let me just get a yellow white color so let's say that let's for the ba basic argument hume pata ki are organic with those steps hote hi so let's say any generic reaction hai, step 1 and step 2 mein. step 1 ka jo rate hai uska bhi rate hoga so the rate of step 1 jo hoga it will be proportional to the reactants taking part in step 1 then this is the rate of reactions in step 1 step 2 would also have its own rate and it will be rate of reaction of step 2 which will depend on the reactants involved in step 2 
which will be proportional to the reactants in step two. But हमे चाहिए है overall reaction के लिए. In the real world, I want the overall. That means I want, let's say, for example, if I'm talking about electrophilic addition of alkenes, जिसमें ethene में bromine होता है. I'm not concerned with the first step where the bromine attacks the carbon-carbon double bond. And I'm not concerned with the second step when the carbocation then reacts. I, in the real world, want to know how is the overall reaction happening because the overall is what science is with. The, I mean, in the practical world, we'll care about. So I'm looking for the overall reaction, which means that I'm looking for the net reactions rate. And the overall reaction is just simply what the sum of the first and the second step. And I'm looking for the net reactions rate. That is not just directly proportional to reactants from step one, and not just directly proportional to reactants from step two. It could be in various varying forms, either proportional to the reactants from step one to the power x, and reactants from step two. To the power y, and we do not know what these powers are. These could be zero, one, or two. That's what the problem is. So you were not told the wrong stuff in O levels. You were told the most simplified version, where you were told the rate for each individual step. But in A levels, we are only concerned with the overall reaction because, practically speaking, that's what we see. And we will look at rea uh, overall reaction means not breaking into multiple step mechanisms. Now. Let me explain this further before I take questions. Uh, so what we are dealing with, if you didn't get that, what we're dealing with is something like this, as simple as this: that if I have a reaction with P and two Q, I'm just making this up. Let's P and Q are some reactants, and they react to make three amounts of R and S. Now, obviously, three Rs and S here are your products, and I am also using a catalyst. Let's call that catalyst W. What I'm saying is that what this what I'm saying is that the rate of this reaction is proportional to p, but not directly. So p to a certain power, let's say call that x, q to a certain power, let's call that y, and even the catalyst will affect rate. So even the catalyst concentration to the power z. Now, x, y, and z are powers that we have to deduce. Meaning, the powers could be so x, y, or z could be zero, one, or two. Those are the options we have. So this could be two. This could be zero. This could be one. Literally. So you will realize that if it's zero, then Q will not be part of this expression. But this expression is what I have to determine. And this expression may understand that this is a proportionality sign, and we want to deal with equations. So when we open up the brackets, this becomes rate equals to k. Now the three different uh, reactants are p to the power x, q to the power y, and obviously p, q, and uh, w. We know what they are. X, y, and z we have to find out through experimental technique. And this thing is called the rate equation. This whole thing is called the rate equation. And what is the rate equation? Rate equation mathematically connects all the reactants and catalysts to the rate of a reaction. As a rate of a reaction, got some things that we might have to remember. That rate is always measured in moles per dm cube per second. K is rate constant, and it is the constant of proportionality here. And we'll find that out later. It'll have its own units, and square p, square bracket q, square bracket r are your con concentration of reactants. So these are basically your, you know, concentration of reactants and catalyst. Be possible. The difference is catalyst's ki concentration as the reaction proceeds come nahi hogi, but reactants ki kam hogi. And ye x, y, and z ka unko a term ki kaha jati hai. इनको कहा जाता है ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन एंड सो ऑल ऑफ दिस टुगेदर इज व्हाट वी कॉल अ रेट इक्वेशन रेट इक्वेशन कनेक्ट्स ऑल द पॉसिबल रिएक्टेंट्स मैथमेटिकली टू रेट 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इस पर्टिकुलर केस का ये भी हो सकता था रेट एंड आई एम गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कि ये भी पॉसिबल है कि यार हमें पता चला कि रेट इज इक्वल टू के एंड वी फाउंड आउट दैट पी का जो पावर था वो टू था एंड डब्ल्यू का पावर वन है विच मीन्स क्यू का पावर है जीरो था एंड दस अ वेरी लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन दैट कुड बी एन एग्जाम्पल दैट अफेक्ट्स रेट वॉट दिस मीन्स इज दैट रेट इज प्रपोर्शन टू द स्क्वेयर ऑफ पी एंड डायरेक्टली टू क्यू डायरेक्टली टू डब्ल्यू बट नॉट टू क्यू एंड दैट्स पॉसिबल सो दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ रेट इक्वेजन